folks, Pete here with the River Kings, and today we're gonna to be working on reducing negative strokes. Now basically, the rain brought a little bump to the water, and a good group of friends was heading out to one of our local runs on the Hall River, and I decided to join them because, well, I love boating, and it was a Tuesday night, and who doesn't like boating with their friends on a Tuesday night? We're gonna be on the lower hall, and the level was around 1200 CFS, so definitely a little more on the low side, but any day on the water is better than a day off the water. And as usually is the case, we don't really come out to the river with a set agenda of what we're gonna work on or practice. We all seem to just start going down the river and things will pop up. If I see someone's having a little trouble with something, we may work on that if they feel comfortable and they are so inclined. And as it would have it today, I spent a lot of time working again with Steve-O. One thing I've been working on him since the first day we paddled together is reducing his negative strokes. And that's not just Steve, this is a very common bad habit across paddlers of all different kinds of skill levels. And as for me, I've been working on bringing some of the old tricks out of retirement and maybe even learning some new ones. As a few of the young rippers in my life, <clears throat> and you know who you are, have been making fun of me for being perhaps a little too vanilla while out on the river. So yeah, time to spruce up the kayaking a little bit more. Challenge accepted. And so yeah, we're all working on something, and you know what that eventually leads to. Moments where we feel like maybe we shouldn't have worked on something. I'm here! You good? You okay? Yeah. But that's okay. It's all part of it. The only real shame is in not trying to improve. So if this sort of thing happens to you, you shrug it off, you get back in your boat, and you just keep on getting after it, knowing the improvement will come. Hey Connor, see the knuckle on the far, far left? I'm trying to boof right off that. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, Amy. Perfect, but you took no stroke. That's why you stopped. Yeah. So, oh, Stan. Oh. The Lower Hall is a great river for improving a lot of different skills at a lot of different flows but it definitely ramps up just a little bit down here at Gabriel's Bend in Moose Jaw Falls.
nice. And here below Moose Jaw Falls is basically where we started getting our most improvement on the night. A lot of the normal features that are there at a little higher flow were not there up at the top half of the river. And we really didn't really stay and work on much until we got down to this point. Donnie and I were working on catching this challenge eddy where you have to ferry up and over the current. Kind of an attainment move. And in fact, that's what I would work on again with Steve later. And that's where I really started noticing a lot of negative strokes. Now for what you're really here for is learning about these negative strokes. And there's Donnie taking one there. It's a backstroke or a negative stroke. And there are a lot of times in kayaking where that's the stroke you need. There's just some times when nothing else will really do. But most of the time, we want to preserve the energy we have built. And we want to keep that forward momentum. And the best way to do that is by placing forward strokes. And controlling our boat in such a way where we don't bleed off the energy we've built. we got to be able to use our speed and features. You don't want to be too fast. You don't want to be too slow. Um, it's kind of a delicate thing, but really when you have the right speed and the right angle, the worst thing you could do for your kayak is throw in a backstroke or a negative stroke because you really have just lost all your forward momentum. And Donnie, while trying to get into that challenge jetty, is attempting to keep his boat online or pointed in the direction, traveling in the direction he wants to go. And when he feels it starting to get blown off course, he throws in a backstroke or a negative stroke. And what happens is that the second you bury that blade in the current like that, all the forward momentum is gone. Now when you're making attainments, it highlights this aspect of paddling. In regular downriver paddling, you can get away with this a lot more, even though you're still compromising performance. One area I see this happen a lot with paddlers is when they're trying to get into eddies, and rather than focus on the downstream sweep stroke, or boost stroke to initiate the carve into the eddy. And what they want to do is just plant the paddle and pivot around that paddle in the eddy. But instead they kill their forward momentum, they never cross the eddy plane, and they wash down river backwards by the eddy, wondering what went wrong. Just starts leveling out. Sitting right there, when you get there, lift your left knee. Now Don is a quick study, and it doesn't take him but a couple tries, and he eliminates all the backstrokes. And now it's just a matter of timing the forward strokes so to get himself up across the current and into the eddy. It's just going to take some practice. That, that second, the second stroke. Your second stroke was all you were missing.
One, two. Better. And that's the advantage these little things get anywhere. Yeah. So wait a little longer. One, two. You're just going right across the top of that on plane. One, two. Much better. <laughs> and the next little feature we like to play around with that shares a lot of the same characteristics as the last attainment move we were working on is this little 360 hole we always play in. And this is very different at different levels, but it's always a good time. There's a little pocket that delivers left 360s at lots of different flows, and it's very different at the different flows. But the first part of the move is to make a small attainment across that flow to get into this little top eddy. And then you put yourself into this pocket hole here. It's not too hard of a move, but it's got a lot of little different things about it that make it a perfect little training feature. Hit it right there. It's gonna push you sideways, just give a left stroke and keep going. Hey, you're not killing mosquito babies. Beater, that's where it comes from. Oh, there it is. <laughs> that's hilarious. I did not know where that came from. <laughs> You're beating the water. So you just want to be like smooth, deep strokes. Okay. You get way more power, I promise. So right here, don't start getting frantic, just good long strokes. Not a bad first try. Much better, Steve-O! Oh, you didn't finish strong. <laughs> Come back and start again. You thought you were there, you gave up one stroke too soon. Right. right edge. Oncoming current, lift it. Okay. Yep, keep going, keep going. Yes! Amy, you got it! You've got the right boat for it. Keep going, do like 10 of them. it's flat water ignore the current until about your feet to knee area start hitting then you need to start pulling on your left stroke and lifting that right edge just a little bit but then it's all left strokes and give several of them till you get up so you're coming up just like that paddle hard Oh, that was pretty good first try, Dan. Yeah, yeah. Right edge up, right edge up. Not that far. Not that far up. <laughs> that was some right edge you were giving it. I'll give it all the edge. <laughs> Rewind will eat this one up. It's probably the best boat here for this. He's okay. See how relaxed that looks, Steve? I know. It looks easy. Just, just do it like that. I'm picking my mind up. 
I got to see fast moving water. I'm like, I got to move fast to get in this. You're good. Backwards left stroke. Yes. Oh. But he's got a good roll. You got an amazing roll. All right, ferry over. That's much better, much better. Stroke management. Now go. Keep it straight, vertical strokes. Keep that nose at the tree. And Steve here is progressing nicely with almost all four strokes, but just right there every now and then he'll drop that negative stroke in there and you can see it just knocks him right back out of that pocket and he's unable to stay up in there if we could remove that little negative stroke from the roster i think steve-o would have a winning lineup here bigger faster left strokes when you hit the current oh oh that's terrible but you got to keep practicing so coming up It is, it is. All right, go for it. Just go straight. Very nice. Get in that thing. Right edge up. Backwards left. Yes, Steve. Yes, Steve. First coming. Yeah. I got it on camera. <laughs> You're the man, Pete. Woo. So after that magical moment where Steve-O got his first combat roll, we were back to the grind. And I gotta warn you, some of these things in kayaking take a long time to get right. And if you've got something ingrained or something intuitive or instinctual about the way you do things and it's wrong, it can take a while to break those bad habits. And so the next few clips show Steve-O trying his best to not stick that right blade in the water, but it just feels so natural, it's almost like he can't help it. But he keeps trying over and over. Just be patient with yourself and keep trying, and before you know it, you'll be doing it right. I'm impressed. Not bad. Woo. All we gotta do next time is 360 and stay in place. One more, then let's get out of here. So that's what we found ourselves doing on Tuesday night and I couldn't think of a better way to spend an afternoon with friends than being out on the river and improving our kayaking. I hope this makes sense if you're doing attainments, if you're catching eddies, or generally if you're just paddling down a river, start thinking about eliminating as many negative strokes from your paddling as possible. You'll be a better paddler, you'll keep your energy, your moves will be bigger and more dynamic, and you'll stay in control. I'm Pete with the River Kings, and as always, I hope you found the video useful. Let me know in the comments if you did or did not, or if you have another idea that might make for a great video. Until next time, thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the river.